Hello everyone. Welcome to Coders Camp. And today we are at the third day of April Lead Code Challenge. And the problem we are going to cover is longest valid parenthesis. So the input given here is a string which is consisting of parenthesis, and we have to return the length of longest valid parenthesis in the given string. A parenthesis is said to be valid if it is well formed. That is, for every open bracket, there should be a corresponding close bracket. So let's see how are we going to approach this. Consider this given input. The parenthesis is said to be valid if it has a corresponding open and closed parenthesis. So here, if you see, the extra brackets are at the index 2, 7, and 10. The rest of the strings are said to be valid. That is this. The second string is this and this is said to be valid. Other than that, these three brackets are an extra brackets. So here clearly, wherever there is an extra bracket, there it breaks the longest valid parenthesis. So for example, if you want to consider the st substring starting from the index 0 to 6, the bracket at index 2 stopping this from being valid. So now, if we are going to calculate valid strings, then it should be between two invalid parentheses. That is, from index 0 to 1, there is one valid parenthesis and there is a break at where there is an extra bracket and starting from the next index till it has the another extra bracket, it is a valid parenthesis. Same way, starting from the next index to invalid parenthesis to before where there is an extra bracket, there is one more valid string. So we are going to record the indexes of the extra brackets wherever it is and by using those indexes we are going to calculate the valid substrings between them and whichever is the maximum length we are going to return the length of that substring in this case it is 4 this is the valid parenthesis which is longest out of all the valid parentheses formed so to record or identify the invalid brackets here in the given string we are going to get the help of stack so in this stack we are going to push the indexes of only extra brackets so if there is a corresponding open bracket or close bracket for the already existing bracket then we are going to pop it so let's start from the index 0 which is the open bracket so we are going to put the index 0 to our stack so moving on to our next character that is a close bracket so there is a corresponding close bracket for the open bracket at index 0 so in this case we are going to pop that from our stack so moving on to our third character which is an extra bracket so let's push that index to our stack so here two enters so now moving on to our fourth character which is at index 3 which is an open bracket so we are going to push the index to our stack which is going to be 3 and the next character is a closed bracket so the corresponding open bracket is at index 3 so in this case we are going to pop that from our stack so the next character is an open bracket at index 5. So we are going to push index 5 to our stack. And at index 6, there is a corresponding close bracket. So we are going to pop that from our stack. So moving on to the next character, which is an open bracket. If you push that open bracket, the index 7 is going to be there at the in, uh, stack. So now let us continue our stack this side. So now we are going to check the index 8 the character is open bracket so we are going to push the index of open bracket that is 8 so now the next character is 9 which is having a corresponding open bracket at index 8 so we are going to pop that from our stack and finally we are going to check index 10 which is the extra bracket that we know so we are going to push the index of extra open bracket which is 10 so 10 enters into our stack so now after iterating through all the characters in the given string, we have three indexes left into our stack that is 2, 7 and 10. So by using 2, 7 and 10, we clearly know they are the extra brackets. So we are going to calculate the length of the substrings which are existing between these indexes and finally return the maximum length of the substring we found. So now starting from index 2, we clearly know as the index 2 is the first one in the given array so which is going to be clearly the first extra bracket so it is starting from the 0th index to 2 so we are going to calculate the first substring whose length is going to be 2 so next our value is 7 so the next string we are going to calculate must be from the next index to 2 
and before index to 7 that is from 3 to 6 which is 4 and the last is going to be 10 so we are going to calculate the length of a substring between 7 and 10 so after 7 before 10 it is going to be 8 and 9 and the length is going to be 2 so out of all this 3 4 is going to be the longest valid substring so our output is going to be 4 so in some cases if after 10 there can be valid parentheses for example if our example is having one more open and close bracket which is at index 11 and 12 in this case 10 is not going to be the last index we still have further valid parentheses after the last bracket that is in our stack in this case after calculating all the index we are going to calculate one more substring from 10 to the length of the given string so that is between the total length of the string to the last value we have in our top of our stack that is one more valid string which is having length 2 so out of all substrings valid substrings we have found we are going to return the maximum length hope you are getting this solution before getting into code this actually works in big o of n time complexity and space complexity as we are iterating our string only once and we are using stack for memory so let's go to code now so first we are going to check the basic conditions that if our string is null and I'm going to declare my stack so I'm going to iterate through my given string and put my indexes in stack So here we are checking whether there is a corresponding close bracket for the open bracket we pushed then we are going to pop that from our stack if not we are going to push the index of the extra bracket so now let me declare a variable index to hold the index of extra brackets which is going to start at minus one because we are before starting at index zero we are going to point, point this at index minus one max which is going to be a result we are going to return so i'm going to iterate my values present in my stack so i'm going to update my max length every time i find a valid parenthesis length So this first will calculate from the uh, first invalid bracket index minus the uh, first minus one index minus one and every time we find a new length we are going to assign the index value to the next invalid bracket index and finally it will calculate the maximum length till the last brackets index so what if there is a valid parenthesis after our last bracket so we are going to calculate till our uh, total length of the given string so yes finally max will be having the result so return max so yes the code is done so let's run So yes, let's submit. Yes, our solution is accepted. So thanks for watching the video. If you like the video, hit like and subscribe. Thank you.